You're not putting it, you're not stepping in front of him. You're not trying to take the charge. I don't think you're gonna get that call. I gotta get, can I get a Jaeger bomb. Can we get the first look at this. Oh, oh, Ron, Paul, dude. Ron Paul is dude. the man that needs to be president. I don't know how he didn't get the Republican nomination. I talked to Keemstar a year ago and he assured me that it was a lock that the race was over and Donald Trump was going to be our next president. <laughs> <laughs> Did he want to be the first person to drop out? He dropped out before the, before the fucking primary started. Yeah, he did. <laughs> the, richest guy in, the richest guy in America that also declared bankruptcy like six times in his life. Well, that, that just tells me he's good at starting over. Can, can, can we talk about this? the trials and tribulations of the Bad Kids show? Sure. Uh, yeah, actually, we, we were talking about it a little bit in your absence. Uh, I was. Yeah, we talked about how y'all going to come to my house, and I'm going to give each one of you a, a chicken to hold while we do the podcast. All right, so here's the situation. So, like, I obviously went over to Buffalo about two weeks ago and did the Bad Kids show live, and I thought it was money. Like, even though, like, podcasts are good, and I think that the podcast that me and Keem do is good, it's a lot better when we're like face to face. Like when I could see Wings' face, when I could see Woody's face, it's 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 better. I don't know. It, it just seems better when you can actually like see people's eyes. And uh, we just did a we did really good shows. And Woody, you actually on the phone. You actually said that you you enjoyed the show. Yeah, I did. I it I enjoyed the show, and I enjoy the entire Blade transformation in a double homo way. Like the the. The way that he's sort of getting his life in order. He quit smoking. He's cutting back on drinking, although not at the moment. He's exercising. <laughs> <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's, uh, and, and he's moving to Buffalo. He's leaving his sort of home base in Seattle, and he's headed over to Buffalo. And, uh, like, I, I, you know what? Take back home base. He's leaving his comfort zone in Seattle and taking a yeah. chance. And in his commentaries, one of them, he said that um, he's like, you know, there's life. And you can sort of sit on the bench and watch people live their lives and have your opinions and etc. But he's decided to get a game. He's you know taking a chance. And I, I mean, I've been on autopilot mode for the longest. You know what I mean? Like it's and so all these things that are happening. Like I want to be healthier. Like I don't want to be like some overweight chubby dude. And oh, um, I feel you, Blade. I made a promise to myself this year that I'm not going to celebrate my 27th birthday overweight. Yeah, and so. I mean, I'm still, I'm still overweight by standards, but like, I feel a hundred times better. Dude, you know what I'm I mean? looking for 280. If I can get 280 by April next year, that's where I want to be. I'll sit, consider it a success. Yeah, I just want to be. Yeah, exactly. Like, it, one of, like all those things as far as like, I don't want to call it a rut, but me just being at home playing Call of Duty, uploading a couple videos a week, wasn't what is Wings doing. That right there is where I'm heading at after painkill already. That's what's up. There it is, baby. <laughs> That's what's up. But I, but so, like, I was doing all these things. Like, I went to the do the dance on. I quit smoking, and I was planning on doing this move to to Buffalo. And then we kind of had a huge road bump with the um our all of Keemstar's channels got taken down. So I saw a comment on one of your videos. And I guess he made me jump to the conclusion, and I asked you on the phone. I'm like, oh, Keemstar's personal channel's taken down, and Bad Kid Show is taken down. What did he do? So yeah, tell and, us what really happened. And in this situation, it's nothing that Keemstar did. It's nothing that he did. Basically, he did the opposite where he had a... I'm not a crook. <laughs> <laughs> like he, he literally, in this situation, it's kind of messed up, but in this situation, he took the high road, and he didn't. Like he's not trying to be that trolling asshole dude. I blocked the guy that he, was starting. He blocked the fight. dude that was starting fight like this no name. He got even more mad that I blocked him and wouldn't fight with him. So he like made this fact like he he made this fraudulent claim and got all the channels. So there. yeah, his his happy Keemstar, happy Keemstar, happy grief day, uh, the Team Noble channel that he had, and the Bad Kid Show, the channel that he and I share, um, all of them got taken down. And he, what I did when the fat kids were all on my shit, run and tell. You want to talk about it? About no, that's getting back. Well, I mean, get, I can't, close, get close to the mic. I can't hear what they're saying. Basically, Scott Kim Martin, um, which is our partner in this and our cameraman, and he knows everything there is to know about YouTube. Basically, what he has been doing is just calling the YouTube staff. So. They basically said that the channel is going to come back. Um, we just are waiting. 
you know, it's like literally today, right before what he called you for to PK is when we got confirmation. But now we're just like in that time period of when YouTube's going to take action. You know, yeah, let, me, let me say something. You know, so, how fucked up this person. One down, right two now? to go. Who? The, the situation, okay, that's a fucked up situation, right? Of course. That's the situation you know, fag people tried to put me in two years ago. <laughs> I, 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 he can't hear because I have the headphones on. But yeah, yeah like I, it. Not I, about I, it. I, 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 okay, I, I explained it to him. I was like, dude, this whole situation about our our channel getting taken down and us being really sad about it. You do see the irony when, because that's what Keemstar used to do. Like if people, but here's the thing though: when people started shit with Keemstar, Keemstar would get his army to take channels down, right? Not saying that's right, but that's what that's what you used to do, right? I'm not a crook. <laughs> so, so in a situation, I had to tell him. I was like, "Dude, you see the similarities, right? Like, it's it's like the Call of Duty code. Like, it's cool when we do it, but when it happens to us, we're like, what the fuck?'" Well, here's the thing: I would legitimately be in a fight with someone. This dude was like an obviously jealous type who was like trying to get in a fight with me, and I just blocked him. I was like, eh, "I don't got time for this," you know. I call obviously. him Betty. Yeah, obviously. obviously jealous. I know the type. Yeah. It, do, is this a direct result of confrontation with somebody that may or may not share the same initials as obviously jealous whom you referred to? Because I, keep in mind, I'm in the same network, so I have to tread carefully. I have to tread no, I have carefully to, if it's... Absolutely. I, I mean, obviously Jesus doesn't have anything to do with it. But like, oh, okay, okay. It has, he has nothing to do with it, but he's just he's comparing... Uh, as far as like adversaries go, about two people. But the thing with Keem though is that he didn't even talk to this dude. He, oh. he you weren't you didn't even talk to the guy. I, he, he he blocked him on Twitter, but that was it. He wasn't like attacking him and doing all this kind of stuff. Still lines up. You know I have never spoken bitch, to him. What's her name? Uh, the the reply girl Megan speaks. Yes. It's this girl and her boyfriend were attacking Syndicate, and then Syndicate oh, 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 didn't oh, oh. give him a reaction. So then they started to attack me, and wait, I was wait, wait, still hold, 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 hold on. Actually. Uh, we're we're trying. We we purposely not give those guys attention. Of course, we we don't. We try not to give them, them attention, which is which is basically some dude uh, got sensitive and took down all of Keem's channels, and they were all under one was unpartnered, one like they're all under different things. So it was like an attack on Keem, and with that, it took down the Backhead Show, which is. A show that myself and Keem are included in, so that's why the Bad Kids show is gone, and it couldn't have come at a worse time. Because right. this is the plan. <laughs> Keem, so Keem flew him and Scott, our cameraman slash friend, really? down here to Seattle. We're gonna do packs. Our plan was to do the Bad Kids show with actual commentators in real life, do the whole packs thing, and then we're gonna pack all my stuff in a U-Haul. And drive from Seattle to Buffalo, and on the way, stop at commentator's house. Like, go through the Chicago, hit up X, hit up Grizz, hit up Optic Midnight, hit up everybody, and do these shows. And then, I'm 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 in Buffalo. That was the whole plan. Can I ask? Do you have your like worldly possessions in a U-Haul as you do this continental tour? Yeah, that's awesome, dude. I'd love that. You're gonna rent like a freaking truck. We're gonna rent a U-Haul and put everything I have in a U-Haul. You go put and... a Cadillac in the U-Haul too. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna watch McCall. I'm gonna tell the Cadillac. So you I talk you, to Wings about that. Talk to Wings about that. Make sure yes. you have his. Now, and see, that's that's messed start. up because now I'm interested in the whole tow thing. Where before I was like, whatever. <laughs> I was gonna tell you, even if you tow it, you're gonna be putting miles on it. As long as those wheels are spinning, you need you need to flatbed it if you want to keep the miles down. If I could just, I just want to say one. To flatbed it? Yeah, like put it all off the wheels and have another vehicle transport it on its own power. It's not the same kind of wear, though, right? You know, when it's you not have the same it, kind of wear, but it will destroy. That the doesn't, value. yeah, that doesn't matter to the, to somebody you're trying to sell the. Because the, the miles will still be rolling on the odometer if those back wheels are moving. Even if the car's off. Even if the car's off. Oh well, I'm not selling the car ever. I'm. Well, I'm, I'm just letting you know in case you you want to have it, keep it as a collector's edition because it's a rare car. No, I mean, uh, it, it. I use it as even though I, I work from home, I use it as daily driver. I know it's not going to be a, you know, Keemstar's been in the car, so the value's already went down. He's <laughs> <laughs> picking up for scrap. <laughs> hey, Blade. Sure. Um, do you still work as a bouncer? I No, no. I, one night I had to clean up, uh, throw up, and I was like, I'm done. Hey, Blade, you said you were going to start talking shit to people? Did I, you start with me? 
Sure. <laughs> Yo, no, Blade said he was going to start calling out people. Yeah, call out me, dude. I've, I've been so wanting to do like a friendly war with people. So I've got so many troll ideas. <laughs> Wings, if you, if you were, Wings, if you were to focus to make one home run quality video a day, I think it would be better than putting out five non-home run videos a day. Oh, dude, I haven't even, I haven't even been putting out videos. Five. Five. Everyone in these videos are home runs. Well, we gotta. Well, that gets into the idea of diminishing returns, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, I don't really know what to do. I'm, I'm just trying to have fun with the channel right now. I I understand. I understand. Well, I mean, you're asking for like we look at YouTube a little bit differently. Like we both of us use it to to make money in order to survive. We that's the same. But what I'm saying money is money horse, money horse. God, I hate. Oh you. my God, yes, yeah. unsub, oh unsub, money whore. Actually, did you get the stuff when we were talking earlier about how I do um, I do uh, trailer breakdowns for like old '80s games? Yes. That's why it's not successful. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that's what you're calling the PKA helpline. I'm just saying, like, I I feel like my best videos are when somebody's talking shit about me, and like if I could continually keep somebody talking shit about me on like the positive level, like we're friends behind scenes, like pro wrestlers. Oh, I, I could like totally do it. Wings, I'm right here, bro. <laughs> well, I don't know nothing about you. Like a blade, I could like pretend to be only use me blade and put like my you know my hero two like GoPro on, like run around with a knife and be like run into the subway and something. And, like, <laughs> blade man, <laughs> every day I wake up and I think, what am I going to make a videos about today? Right? You know, do I have a topic? Is it inspiring? Does it connect? Is it educational? Whatever oh it is, God, it's going to be. Yeah. And every day I consider the same idea that I stole from you. Every day, I think to myself, should I do that commentary where I play Minesweeper and pretend it's Slenderman? Like I'm frightened the entire time. <laughs> That's so true, though. That's so true. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is there a bomb? Oh, my God. Is there going to be a bomb? Is this the bomb? It, it, it says three, but there's four buttons. Oh, my God. Like, oh, no. It's going to happen. Come on. <laughs> 5,000 favorites if I click on this one. <laughs> 45 seconds flying oh. down the drain. <laughs> I, just, I just don't understand, like, the whole, like, there, okay, there's got to be a process. Like, Woody, before you upload a video, you watch it before you put it out, I'm assuming. I'm just going to go out on a limb, right? Yep. Okay. Even if it's, like, a male money, you're still going to watch to make sure there's no audio pops and you didn't say something in the heat in the moment or, or whatever you're making sure that what you're uploading is good and it's just like how do some of these videos make it past like how do people go that's good print like <laughs> <laughs> like how do people publish some of this shit like how do people honestly with a straight face say okay this video deserves ads on it let's put it up and like I kind of want to like I kind of want to call people out but there's nothing to gain from it oh like, there is I mean, well, I mean, I'm gonna call us and I'll talk with Woody about since we're calling out. What about those motherfuckers that play that maze game with the Exorcist face? At and the then very they end, act all scared after they go off the edge. I actually have never seen a video that does that, although it does My sound ludicrous. I, I didn't catch it. I didn't catch it. I mean, it. there's a game. There's a, it's a flash game where you got you take your mouse. Oh, I played and it. You go across the maze, and if your mouse goes outside of bounds, the Exorcist chick jumps out and screams. And at the very end, outside the bounds or not, she jumps out and screams. Yeah, and like how many – they finally get to the end of the game, and I'm like, how many fucking times did you like fall out I, of that I game? just come to this realization that it's YouTube and people are going to do it how they want to do it or, or whatever the process it, it, is. I, and I'm, me, I'm and I'm me complained about people it. people that watch that. That's exactly, exactly. I'm not <laughs> mad. At, I'm not mad at the commentators. Get your money. But I'm just, I'm mad at like the sheep of people that watch. Be like, oh yeah, that's good. It's yeah. like, yeah, that's a legit react. No, it isn't. How many, times, really did, how many times did it take him to get to the end of that maze on level four? Can I talk about trolling? Times? Can I talk about trolling videos for a second? The trolling videos now suck. By the way, there's there's yeah. not they're horrible. This guy back here, I don't even like this guy, but he <laughs> made some fucking he made some good fucking trolling videos back in the day. And like these new trolling videos are just like they're horrible. And I don't know. Maybe it's me being a hater. I don't know. Maybe it's Blake doesn't like trolling videos. Unsub Woody. Yeah, exactly. Like <laughs> the trolling videos now suck. Like the last great trolling videos were me going in gun game. After that, they just went no, fucking downhill. This is this is why. Think about it. Every come on, team. Everybody's okay. Jagerbomb. The reason why. Uh, Jagerbomb. Fuck out of here. 
the reason why the trolling videos have went down the tube. Is I disagree with this. Everybody They're not down the tube. They're jumping in on the ever. It's kind of like commentating, right? There was a great commentator, Hutch, and then everybody jumped in, flooded the market, and it's not what it used to be. I'm better than Hutch, calling it right now. <laughs> calling it. <laughs> Hutch is licking my jock strap right now. Seriously. <laughs> okay. Unsub Woody. I heard it. Hey, don't you guys think that Hutch coming back was kind of an unclimactic comeback? It was a oh, foregone course. conclusion he was coming Where's back. Me? You owe me and Wings money. I know I owe you and Wings money. Yes. You know, hey, let me clear it. Blake doesn't owe me money. I backed out of it. Okay. Wings, Wings backed out. But I do, I do owe Keen I mean, because, because I go, I'm was, not going to put money on it. That was a legit bet. The bet we did on the Beckett show was saying that I didn't think that uh, we that not Wings. I'm sorry. I didn't think that Hutch was going to come back, and he was like, "No, he's coming back." Like it's it's. I a mean, think about it, Blade. The man had, the man had a big salary job at Machinima, and then he leaves that to wait tables. How many how many months can you wait tables before you realize that you can go back and make you know four times your salary doing YouTube? I don't know. I'm not in Hutch's position. I can't call that. I mean, just and that's, you put yourself in that position. All right, let's say let's I can't because I, I can't I can't think right. of what I, I like if let's say you, had if you put me in hut right now and you had to go wait tables okay. for like two dollars and thirty five cent an hour and whatever tips you get. How long would it take you to go back YouTube? Lefty, what are you doing? I'm just I'm mocking you. It looked like you were trying to blow dry your nails after painting them, after polishing them. You looked at your hand and you were just. Like, I, again, it, it's I it, it's it's, it's, a, it's an endless circle. Like we we talk about how you, Woody, like, like my my values for YouTube is different than Wings's values, different than Woody's values. It's YouTube. It's an expression of yourself. Now I might voice my opinion on what I think is like how I wouldn't do it that way, but there's certain things that I do that other YouTubers wouldn't do my way. So it's like I have to realize that's an individual. It's an individualistic thing, but. Anybody that, that is in, in a position to do this, like as a full time job, this is ten times better than Any going than, than than going to work. I have so much respect for you. But, it just stopped right there. He oh, has so much no. respect for you. I wonder who keeps trying to respect for nobody, so that, that had to be a lie. So, <laughs> so. Who was he respecting right there? Was he respecting wings or somebody like who one knows? of us? The, the answer will never be given. I don't know. Yeah, what's a, but I mean, has anybody? I, I mean, I have to ask you guys because I'm not big enough to be, you know, a, a big fish. To satisfy a woman. <laughs> <laughs> he got you there, Trebek. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed you didn't sit down during the break. You have a date last night. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, okay, that you got me back for for calling you on blowing your fingernails. All right, it was my palm. It's like I know, no, I no, I broke my I I have broken my wrist before. I know it's this cast a, it's a is like wearing day. a winter yeah. coat on my forearm. I'm summer. surprised it's been on that long. I'm surprised it's been on that long. It comes off soon. Carry on. Oh. <laughs> but uh, has has have either of you wings or Woody? Have you ever considered at any time, even just in the heat of the moment? Wanting to take a break, just yes. like ah, uh, it's, I'm considering oh, it's it so right, now. right. Yeah, it's got. I've actually thought about quitting until Black Ops Two came out. But you know you can't do that, Wings. I know I can. I'd lose all my curb appeal. Like I'd be. You take a if you take if you take a week off in this business, you've knocked off twenty five percent of your viewership, or something somewhere yeah. around there. It's, it's huge. It's mixed though, things. right? Like if you take a week off, that's true. But you know, like Hutch, for example. I, I, I'm not, I don't mean to be throwing Hutch, stones at him, right? Hutch is a special. Hutch when is Hutch a special left, kid. when Hutch left, he it wasn't pure love and, and happiness, right? When Hutch left, people were making fun of his appearance. They never quite liked the lip ring. They didn't like I don't know the hair, the jacket he wore. He had Some a lip ring. Fussed, yeah, he did at one point. Some people fussed about his facial hair. Some people fussed about um, his height or that he was like people were just hating, right? Not all of it, right? Hutch was beloved. But he had his negative stuff. And then he took time off and came back, and now it's 100% positive. So I wonder, like, what that scenario, would that scenario play out for other people? I think, like, if c were to do it hypothetically, I think the same thing would happen. He'd come back to pure love. Mm -hmm. um, x Charles took some time off and did not come back to pure love, right? The knock on, like, they say x Charles, oh, my gosh, you're lazy and you're evil. They say Hutch, oh, my God, thank goodness you returned. I don't but know... 
like, Hutch did it under the guise of mental <laughs> issues, me? mental hardship. Yes. Hutch did it yeah, under yeah. the guise of, you know, this is getting hard for me mentally and emotionally. And I think that's harder to hate. Even if you're even if hating is your job, you know, hate, 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 hate. When when somebody says, look, especially Hutch, because he's revered by a, a huge, a, a much larger percentage of the community than any other given commentator at the top. It, it's harder to look at that and be like, no, I'm still going to hate you. When he makes his passionate case for like, look, guys, I was really screwed up and it was a hard time for me and, you know, dealing with things in my own head. It's harder to look at that and say, you know, oh, well, no, 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 no. You just did it because you're a look here, tall look here. ass facial having facial hair having look, bastard. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm look at this in a different respect. I'm going to get this a wingism. Are you ready? I can't wait. You can't wait. Did you just I name your, your little nuggets of wisdom you just called a wingism? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I call it wingism when I, when I take something and refer it to something else. That's really like um, let's put let's put this myth. Or you can call it a metaphor. It, yeah. No, no, it's a wingism. Look no, at it's this. a wingism. I've got wings right, hard scoped on my Google Hangouts. You will watch nobody but wings as he lays upon us his nugget of wingism. Let's hear it. This is gonna be a rock one too. This is gonna be a Woody Hate one. All right. Would you, if Hutch was the same as a rapist, if he raped people all damn day instead of did YouTube videos? And then he took a break from rape and came back to it and said, oh, I'm really, I'm really fucked up. I was a hard time raping people. It was really affecting me. I had to stop. Would it be the same thing? I'm assuming you mean only in the reverse, right? Would right it be the, the same reverse. only in the negative? Like, oh, my God, we got that reprieve from Hutch's constant raping, but now that he's back, it's awful. You're asking us if if Hutch were to rape a lot and then no, he no, stops no, raping. I think I missed work. Let me re, let me go ahead and redo it again. Make it sound reasonable. If the rapist <laughs> asks for your sympathy, even though he says he turns face, would you give it to him? No, because he's a fucking rapist. No, that's what Jerry Sandusky did. I'll no, give you that, I'll give you a good example. Have you seen the movie Groundhog Day? Yeah. yeah. Okay, during the movie Groundhog Day, he spent a good year in Groundhog Days, thirty trying years. to. It, it, there's debates, but basically, he okay. I'm talking about for this segment. He wanted to bang this broad, right? Mm -hmm. And the entire time he wanted to bang this broad, not at one point he's like, "She's not going to remember tomorrow. I should rape her." Never. It didn't happen. I thought about the same shit. I mean, like, why didn't he just rape the bitch? <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like, that's not in. Like, that's not even like a question. You know what I mean? Like, it's I not mean, like someone goes, he's not "Hey." The next day. What, what's wrong with Woody? I, I can't believe you guys are advocating rape. I'm what? not advocating rape. What I'm saying is I'm using it as an example. Yeah, Groundhog that... Day. But you ever seen Groundhog Day, Woody? Many times. All right. He, he he's, he's, lives the same day over and over again, and he's like trying his ass off to get this girl in bed with him. When nothing matters, why didn't he just rape her? Like, why didn't he go on a mass killing spree and shit like that? He's willing to steal from the bank. He's willing to kill himself 14, 15 times. But that's what I'm saying. Like that, like the idea of rape is so out of the ordinary. That even under those ex under those circumstances, that didn't even cross his mind. That's what I'm saying. Like rape is such like a foreign idea that any saying, any any person any person bring it up. Like like okay, Kim, I'm not even going to use Kim as an example. I'm saying like let's say Bobby. Okay, Bobby's like, hey bro, let's go get some drinks to rape some broads. I'll be like, no. We don't do that. That's not what we do. You're, you're, no matter, no matter missing, the circumstances, you're, missing you're not going to cut. You're not going to come up with a situation where rape's okay. It's you, not going to fucking happen. You're, you're missing the point. Give the point, me. The point, I will give you a hundred dollars if you come up with a situation where rape is an okay thing. Geico caveman, give me the hundred. Give me the hundred. Give me the money. Give me the money. <laughs> the give me the money. Look, look here. Oh, you want rape as an okay thing? No, I don't Sandusky, want that. But I'll send Dusky in an eight by eight cell. Oh wait, wait, wait! Yeah, I don't know. I think he might have got you there. That's not a, like it's still not cool. Like, what are no, you it's about? cool. It's extra cool. It's awesome. As a matter of fact, I hope you're well endowed. <laughs> but look, the rape was rape was just the topic I think. It's not. It's not. It could be anything. You know, you know, child molester. You know, shootist, murder, whatever. The fact is, you're not gonna like that person <laughs> that raped those people because you know he was a rapist. Hutch is not a person that's changed. He is just revitalized. He's going to revert back to the same person because YouTube, as you know, does not change. And 
And your point is? That's the point. Oh, okay. I'm better now. That, like, that's, funny. That's, that's, that's the references I was using. So, wait. Can we, like, sum up the wingism? All right. Yeah. Sum, sum up the wing. The, what, what started on this was Hutch got a standing applause because he took a break, and Lefty was talking about how, you know, I was feeling bad, I was sad, I was depressed, I was in this bad world, blah, 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 blah. And this got people to give him sympathy. Okay, man. All right? Everyone's it's tweeting great. me, guy. Like, okay, man. But the fact is, I don't see him changing as a person, as a whole. The sa- the core person is still there. That's just like saying a rapist quit raping people, and now you should feel sorry for him. That's where you lose me. 